Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export it out the Make Human avatar from Make Humans and then send it to Unreal Engine 4 to make her become your game avatar to make her become the main character of your Unreal Engine game. First, a few steps that you need to follow in Make Humans here. In this software, you can create unlimited variations of avatars, you can create a lot of avatars, even a lot of different faces and different body shape. So now, as demo, I will just export this out as FBX file. Before that, you need to make sure go to the post, post slash animate here. Make sure the skeletons use you choose the game engine. This is the default. So I want you to change to game engines. This is my suggestions. I highly recommend the game engine skeletons. Next, click here to export. Export, F, export as FBX file. Click here. And then as demo, I will just export here. I will open a new folder on my desktop. Girl01 as demo. I will just name her as Girl01. This is a file name, Girl01MH. I click here to select the folder. It's on my desktop. I copy the folder destination, Ctrl C, and then I paste here, Ctrl V, enter. Next. The file name, I will just name her as Girl01, make human. Then I click save. Alright, now you can see it already exported as FBX file. Here you have to choose meter because I already I already try an arrow to test everyone just for this version make human community 1.2.0. Select the meter, then you export it out the FBX it will exactly the human size. If you choose decimeter, it will become a giant size for this make human community 1.2.0. If other version, I'm not sure, but this one for sure, I will choose meter. And also, after I export it out as FBX file, I will save the, the make human file as backup. I will choose my folder locations. Control C, Control V, enter. I will save at the same location, girl01 mh. Save. Now this is just a backup. So now I will just Close the make humans. Next, in your Unreal Epic Games this year, your Epic Games launcher, I'm going to launch the latest version of the Unreal Engine. I will click launch and just wait for a while. It is loading. It seems not responding, but you just need to be patient until it pop out. All right. At here, now, I will just click games because I want to start a new game project and import this girl01. Click the game. Next. As demo, I will choose third person so that you can see the main avatar. You can control the game avatar for any of the animation. You can run, you can walk, you can jump. So third person, next. At here, I will just name the file name as demo okay. make humans to unreal demo 03 okay the project name must must not be longer than 20 characters so i will just make it short make human to unreal engines demo 03 all right i will create this project Alright now, it is already inside here. This is the main avatar by default. So I will just click content and I will create a new folder named make humans. Right click here, new folder, make human. I will double click in this folder 
and I will drag in my FBX file. If you cannot see the file extension of this known file type, you can just click view, click the options, click view, drag down, make sure you untick high extension for known file type, then you should be able to see all the file extension. Drag in the FBX file into this folder. Then click tick here convert scene unit. Then click import all. At this moment, just wait for a while. It is importing. Once this message pop out, you can just close it. All right, maximize it. The first thing what you need to do is you have to wait until all the texture loaded. Let's say now I can just click, click the girl zero one mh, double click it, and just have a check. The texture is not yet finished loading, so I have to wait, wait until everything loaded normally. Just wait for a while. It is still compiling the shader, just need to wait. Wait for this number to finish. It is a, a countdown number. It is a countdown, so just need to wait. Alright, now all the texture already loaded. I can close here already. Anytime, if I double click it, I should be able to see the correct texture. Now everything normal already. The first thing what should I do is, after you import in, you should be able to see the skeletons. This skeleton, you double click it. Click the retarget manager. If you cannot see, then you need to click here. Retarget manager, it, it should be able to activate this tab. Under the select rig, you need to select the humanoid rig. After that, click apply to asset. Next, click save. Then now you can close. Next, click the content. It will back to the original content folder. Next, what you need to do is go to the mannequin. Who is mannequin? For this, these people, this avatar is called mannequin. This is the default avatar of the Unreal Engine. So double click the mannequin, double click the character folder and double click the mesh. You should be able to see the skeleton as well. Double click this skeleton. Then you have to do the same way as just now. Select the rig, you select the humanoid rig. Then Click save, then close. Next step, click the contents. Under the contents, you need to search the animation blueprint, ANIM. Then you should be able to see the third person animation blueprint. Right click, then retarget animation blueprint and click duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. Next. You should click Girl Zero Ones Make Human Skeleton. Now we are going to retarget. Click Retarget. After that, you must rename this. It appears everything here. You rename this, the third animation blueprint. Right click, rename. Then you add 
add to the behind, you add an un underscore, make humans. I use mh. Alright, then enter. This one you must rename. And you must re remember the rename name. Alright, next step. Click content as well. At the search content here, you need to search for third person character. Then this one will pop out. Double click the third person character. Click the viewport. And you are going to change the third person character to become your make human avatar. Click the mesh. Here, under the mesh and skeletal mesh, you change it, change her, her change it to become girl01 make human. Now you can see it changed already. Next, what are you going to do is under the animation class, you select the file name just now you had renamed. You, you underscore mh that one, third person animation blueprint underscore make human. You select this. Alright, now you can see the hand already deformed, but now it doesn't matter. Later, I'm, later we are going to fix this. But now we just need to click save, then close. You can see your game avatar, your, your main character already changed to become your girl zero one. You try to play and have a test. She really become the main avatar, the main character of your game now. So next step, we are going to fix her hand. I press escape to escape from this game. Press F to have a view. Alright, we are going to fix this now. Click your contents and you delete the search keywords just now. Delete it. Next, go to your make human folder and double click your girl01 make human skeletons. Double click it. First, what you are going to do Click the skeleton tree. We want to fix the hands. Click the skeleton tree. Under the option, you click the option here. Click show retargeting option. Next, you go and find the hand. I drag here down. Right hand, this is right hand. How about the left hand? Left hand is under here. Left hand. Click and then you right click. Recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. Also do the same way on the right hand. Right click. Recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. Then remember to save. And now you can close. Now you can see the deformation is still there but it doesn't matter. Once you play your game, everything will look normal. You can see. Now the hand is already fixed. And now I can play as a third person avatar in this new game. And that's all for today about how to create an avatar in Make Humans and then export it out and import into your Unreal Engine 4 to make her become a game avatar. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that you can activate the notifications when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.